Just like most 10 minute vegan recipes, this hummus recipe is extremely simple. You'll only need five ingredients to have some fantastic hummus to enjoy. You'll need three tablespoons of lemon, four cloves of garlic, two tablespoons of tahini, some salt and pepper, and of course, garbanzo beans. Let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is mince up our garlic. You want to mince it a little bit, give the uh, food processor a better chance at mixing it really thoroughly. You don't want to end up with any big chunks in there, that's all. I started with four cloves. You're going to really want to decide how much how much garlic you want to have in there and how garlicky you want the hummus to be. One trick that I've learned uh, for the getting the maximum amount of lemon juice out is to actually microwave the lemon for about... Uh, 35 or 40 seconds. Uh, so we're actually going to do that now. And the next thing after you microwave it, you're going to want to do is, it might be a little warm, so be careful. The next thing you want to do is just kind of roll it around. Give it a good roll. And by doing this, you're actually going to really loosen up the insides, and you're going to get a lot more juice out of it. Uh, for this, we only need three uh, tablespoons, but I figured I'd share that, that little trick with you if you didn't already know. There's a half a lemon, and you can just see that that's just uh, brimming with juice there. And now you want three uh, tablespoons of lemon juice. And looks like that one lemon was just about three tablespoons. A little bit more. Use your garbanzo beans in it. I use a whole can. I'm actually going to pour this through a strainer and give it a quick rinse. Now that we have our beans, we'll pour them in the food processor. And the next ingredient we're going to add is two tablespoons of tahini. And uh, I have this brand here. One thing you'll notice is it tends to separate and uh, and have an oil and sesame layer, so you're going to want to shake it up a little bit before you open it. And we're going to add two, we're going to add two tablespoons of tahini into the food processor. And depending on how uh, salty you like it, I've, I've made this recipe before, I tend to do about five cranks with the salt shaker, I do salt and pepper to taste. You don't have to decide how much you, you like to use, but right. and we're actually just going to pulse a few first. And you'll see it turn into a paste you can kind of see in there. At that point you can start letting it run. Looking, looking very good. I'm gonna give this one more, give this one more spin. And that looks great. And there you go, fast and easy vegan hummus in less than 10 minutes. I've topped mine with sun-dried tomatoes. Try something special on yours.